Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. I'm very happy to announce that I have just completed, after months and months of work, my biggest course ever. It's called Lightroom Universe and covers Lightroom CC, uh, over 20 videos, Lightroom Mobile, about two hours, and Lightroom Classic, almost 60 videos. The whole thing is over 10 hours. It's got almost 100 of videos. It's the best course I've ever done. I give you all the source files. And to give you an example of things you're gonna learn, I'm gonna give you a free lesson right away. You have a special launch price right below this video. This is the best course I've ever done, the most complete one. And I really, you know, I've done over like 12 retouching projects. I really wanted you to learn and follow through. Yes, you can learn things by following my YouTube channel, but if you really want like a formal education and you want to go through it and having like a full workflow and a full picture of this amazing software, this is the course you need to get. So here is a free lesson and check out the link below. You will love it. Okay, this project is going to be a little more difficult, but it was the cover of a magazine that I did for Lightroom magazine, in fact, for Kelby One. And um, I want to show you how I did it. So uh, I was with a friend in Joshua Tree Park and uh, we um, had this amazing Milky Way. You can see the Milky Way here. That's just a raw file. And um, I, and some guys had like a saber, you know, a laser saber from Star Wars. And I asked my friend, can you go over there and, you know, just turn it on? And so I did one exposure for him uh, where I was at ISO 1000, five, five seconds. And I, the same exact shot... 15 second at ISO 2000. So, uh, but without, you know, he, you can see he's here, but he's sort of hidden. So I'm gonna retouch the first photo uh, as the foreground at the, in Lightroom, the second one in Lightroom, and we're gonna blend them both in Photoshop. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, let's start with the Milky Way. So Milky Way, Milky Way, I'm going to, uh, well, I'm gonna open the shadows. Now Milky Way is a bit different. You can open the shadows, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what's really important with Milky Way is the white slider. Look at this. The white slider is really going to make it pop. Adding texture and clarity is really important. Uh, I'm going to crush the blacks a little bit on this one. Okay. And then uh, I don't want to bring down the highlights. I'm actually going to boost the highlights a little bit, add some contrast. And um, now comes the white balance. Okay. The white balance, this is very blue. I might warm things up a little bit, add a bit more magenta because this is going to be red and I want to put more emphasis on the Milky Way. One thing I do that is I go take a gradient and I put it all over the Milky Way here. All over the Milky Way. I can make my gradient big or small. Okay, I'm going to double click on effects so everything comes on to zero. Make sure inverted, make sure it's feathered. And I just want to even add more clarity, even more texture, a little bit of exposure and a little bit of magenta. Just a tad. To maybe a little bit of yellow, maybe more exposure. I just to want to make it pop. Let's see before the circle, after the circle. Okay. Uh, now, here it's super noisy. Uh, so what you want to do there is you want to do like a local adjustment for the noise. And so usually what I do is I'm going to take a gradient and I'm going to make a gradient here. And instead of brightening things up, I'm going to actually make it even darker. And I'm going to go into noise and I'm going to take care of the noise here so that it takes care of this noise okay and um, I kind of like that I kind of like that retouching I mean I'm really doing it for the just for the sky the the, the rest doesn't really matter I want to go into the noise reduction but you got to be careful because if you use a lot of noise reduction on stars you're gonna make a lot of small star disappear so uh, yeah look at this <laughs> so I don't want that so maybe just a little tad of noise reduction uh, and, uh, you know, I'm going to use the, my usual formula, like about, uh, yeah, about 10 of noise reduction. I mean, this one has, this one is, was shot at like ISO 2000. So has a lot of noise, but I kind of like, I want to, you know, noise is like almost like small star. So I really like that. Now, one thing I've not showed you yet, that's one of the reasons I want to do this video is I can copy some of the things that I did here over there, but I don't want to copy everything. So I'm going to press command shift C. And by default, I'm going to go check none. And what do I want to copy? Uh, first, the process version, which is basically the way the raw file has been dealt with uh, in terms of developing, which basically always has to be on. 
And then I want to copy the white balance. Uh, I think I want to match the white balance. I want to copy maybe the nose reduction. And um, maybe, yeah, the basic tones. Okay, let's try that. So I'm copying all that and then I right click. And then I'm going to go uh, right click and I'm going to go paste or command V. Actually, command V. Okay. And now I paste what I did here and there. But doesn't really match. It's way too bright. doesn't work. So I'm going to reset it. And I'm going to retouch that photo for what it is, okay? So um, let's see here. I'm going to bring down the highlights, maybe a little tad. I'm going to do my black point. Okay, I'm going to do my white point. And um, maybe the photo is really red. So I think I want to just desaturate it a little bit. Just a little bit. I mean, you know, yeah, just a little bit like this. And I think I kind of like that. I was like, what if I could mix this one? with this one where well, we can try. So, uh, you know, noise reduction. Yeah, everything else is kind of cool. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so I'm gonna select both of these photos. I'm gonna right click, edit, and instead of going to edit in Photoshop, I'm gonna go to open as layers in Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop and you see we've got two layers on top. We have the one with the Milky Way and at the bottom we have the one with the rocks, okay? Now, usually what I do before I start blending, I select both of the photo. It might not work. I haven't tried this when I go to edit and I go to auto align layers. And that's going to try to take the shape of the mountains and align it. But no, it says it cannot do it. Okay, fine. So it doesn't work. That's fine. I'm going to create a mask. Okay, I have a mask here. So I just clicked on this for mask. It makes a white. And, you know, the principle of the masking is uh, basically anything which is white reveals. So it's going to re I want it to reveal uh, absolutely uh, the, the the top but uh, if I would brush with a black if I would put black by pressing X as my foreground color you see X it goes uh, this white is foreground now I press X black is foreground and if you don't if you've got like weird colors there which can totally happen uh, like this you just press D and white is going to be your foreground and black is going to be your with default default and X again so you want black as your foreground color and then I have a big brush. Make sure it's 100% opacity. And now check this out. Make sure the hardness of your brush by right clicking is at zero. Okay, so now I got a very soft brush and I'm going to brush and I'm going to just bring back the bottom of the photo. So I'm just bringing back the bottom of the photo. Okay, and then here we have like a bit of a weird blending here. So what you can do is you can press X. And now you're bringing back, oh, sorry, X. And now I'm bringing back the uh, original photo like this. All right. And then what you can do is lower the opacity of the brush and then press X again. And it's bringing this back, X again. And I'm just blending this photo and this photo. And voila. Okay. And then, uh, so that was the, uh, that was kind of the final thing. I want to add something. I want to try to add something. So I'm going to add um, an empty layer. Okay. And on an empty layer, I'm going to try to do something. I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to go to a filter, a render. And I'm going to go to lens flare. I want to add a lens flare. Oh, because the area, sorry. So. It's not going to work on an empty layer. So what I'm going to do is I need to fill this with something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this with black, for example. So boom. Uh, the way to do that is you, you press shift delete and you can fill with whatever you want. And I'm going to press black and OK. So now it's filled with black. All right. And now I'm going to go again. Filter. Render. Lens flare. OK. And that lens flare is too big. And you can... I'm going to put it where the sword is and I'm going to make it much smaller. You got different types of lens flare. Uh, I think I like the first one. I like it's just I don't, maybe I might get rid of all of that. Just going to make it really small like this. Press OK. And now I have a lens flare, but it's sort of invisible. But there is a special mode in, in Photoshop called the screen mode. And if you put it on screen mode now, you can see that the uh, the lens flare is uh, tr uh, anything which is black has become transparent. And now I can take the move tool and sort of try to put the lens flare where I want it. So like on, on here, but you see, 
I don't like what's there and there, so I can use a mask. Take B, exactly like we did before. Make sure black is the foreground color. Make sure the opacity is 100%. And I'm just going to erase all of that. Erase a little bit here. Voila. And I can even, so that's before and that's after. I can even make this a little smaller. I just wanted a little bit of, a, of an effect there. And it just blends it even more. And voila. So now I can go to File close now this is a little more advanced i agree but i wanted to show it for people out there who can handle this kind of projects and let's go back to lightroom and we're ready for like a double development so this is the photo and remember the double development is you open the shadows bring down the highlights you do your black you do your whites and i can maybe lower the vibrance a little bit or or not make it brighter or not boost the whites even more if i want to and voila, it's like a complete Star Wars image and I uh, really want to show that to you guys. Now I'm thinking it's actually too bright. So because I, while I'm here, I can go here and I can make a gradient and I can lower the grain. I just had this idea. Just want to make this maybe a little darker here. Use the same value there, make it darker there. I don't know, I just think it's a little too much. It was a, just too much red and maybe another gradient here make it here you know you get the idea and check it out with so you can just do whatever you want it's completely non-destructive before after before after I just made this a little bit darker and uh, so it is a little more subtle and so we came from this and this is where we are with a bit of Lightroom and a little bit of Photoshop